Welcome to Gym Talk with Mike. I'm Mike Burnett, Director of Gymology here at Gym Shopping, and today we're going to talk about Tahitian pearls and South Sea strands. Let's talk about Tahitian pearls for a second. Tahitian pearls are the one pearl that's going to be a little bit different in color than the other three. We saw this strand over here with the fresh wire that has a little bit of different color to it. We'll see a South Sea strand over here that's going to have the golden color to it. But the black-lipped oyster is going to give these a black color to them, a much darker color, but then you'll notice the overtone that I talked about being a little bit different. You can get everything from a very silvery strand right here, stunning, a mix of different colors throughout. You'll often hear the colors referred to as peacock, pistachio on the more green side, but just stunning as you look at these. Tahitian pearls will give you the most variety of color of any of the pearl strands. Every one of these is just simply phenomenal. You will know that they most tend to be round. They are much larger than the Akoya pearls. A lot of these are gonna grow in 10 to 14 millimeter range. You will see some that are gonna be a little bit off round that you have, and then you're gonna have the more traditional round as you go. One strand I do wanna feature that I've been hiding in the back is a phenomenal Tahitian strand. 36 inches. When you look at this, the quality of this is exceptional. As you can see, they're almost perfectly round. Very hard to do. We think about round pearls, but finding a perfectly round pearl is much harder than you think. Most of them tend to be a little off round. But as you can see how easy this rolls, it has that nice round shape to it. These range in size from 12 to 14 millimeters. You'll see a variety of different color. Just one of the most expensive and beautiful strands that we have here at Gym Shopping. Absolutely stunning. Lastly, let's talk about South Sea strands. There's no mistaking a South Sea strand. When you look at it, much, much larger size than the white Okoya pearls and or the freshwater pearls. They also come in a golden color. Simply just stunning. I need to highlight this real quick. And you can just look at the color of that strand. All natural color, just absolutely gorgeous. South Sea strands will have the most luster of any of the pearls. The Akoya are gonna be very close to that, but these are grown much longer, so the, the knacker packs on the bead much, much longer in a much tighter formation. It's a different kind of luster, but certainly beautiful. The traditional strand of the white South Sea pearl, as you saw earlier, much larger than the Akoya. Beautiful, look at the luster, look at the sheen. Again, I put it on the white background. You can see just the wet look, the brilliance that comes off of that. I'm gonna show here a very off round. Going back to this particular strand here, finding round pearls is not very easy. It's very difficult to find a perfectly round pearl. Something like these are gonna be more what you're gonna find from the oyster itself. They'll have a little bit of shape, a little bit of uh, texture to them, but absolutely stunning. Much, much bigger than you'll typically find. These go up to 16 millimeter on that particular strand. And then last but not least, kind of a combination of everything. You see the white South Sea, you see the golden South Sea, and then this one has a mixture of the gray or black Tahitian pearl as well. Just, you can never go wrong with a South Sea necklace. This would be the Lamborghini of pearl necklaces, if you will. This has been Gym Talk with Mike Burnett. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for future episodes.